good morning students in the previous class i have given you the information or in detail about the oxidation and reduction and also basic concepts of chemical equation and the terms used in chemical equation and what is a chemical equation how we can balance a chemical equation all the things are discussed in the previous class now in the today's class we shall discuss about the important topic which is very familiar to you in your lower classes that is acids and bases now in today's class i will explain you about acids so what are acids what are the characteristics or properties of acids and how they are classified which are strong acids which are strong bases all these things are studied in this class so what are acids the substances when dissolved in water they give if they give h plus ions such type of substances are called acids so the any compound or any substance when it is dissolved in water it must release h plus ions it must furnish h plus ions it must give h plus ions such type of substances are called acids so acids are nothing but the substances or the substance when dissolved in water it gives or it furnishes h plus ions is called acid so a substance which dissolves in water it gives h plus ion such type of substances are called acids so here depending upon the h plus ion we can give the basicity of an acid so acids are classified into various type that will be discussed later now here what is the basicity of an acid the number of h plus ions present in the given acid is called as basicity the number of h plus ions in the given acid represents its basicity for example if we take hcl it is an acid how many hydrogens are there in it how many h plus ions are there in it one so the basic of this acid is one the basicity of hcl is equal to one so in this way we can tell the basicity for h2so4 if we take h2so4 what is its basicity how many hydrogens are present in it two hydrogens so i will write here h2so4 how many hydrogens are there two hydrogens so what is the basicity of this acid two so the basicity depends upon number of h plus ions present in the given acid so this is the definition and this is the basic of an acid here in the definition and what i have told you a substance when dissolved in water it gives h plus ions see here i will give an example here i am writing an example here for example when water is added to hydrochloric acid when water is dissolved in hcl or it gives h plus ions and cl minus ions so here see this equation it is releasing some h plus ions and also here the h2 is written here and also if we take h2so4 
when dissolved in water it dissociates into h plus ion and hso4 minus ion it indicates that it is releasing h plus ions from that we can conclude that these are acids so the substances which releases h plus ions when they dissolve in water such type of substances are called acids and what is the basic how can we determine the basic of an given acid it the if the acid contains or the number of h plus ions present in the acid indicates its basicity now here after knowing the concept of or the definition of acid and also about the basicity now we can explain the classification so how can we explain the classification of acids here the acids are generally classified into two types organic acids and inorganic acids plants and animals are called organic acids so acids which are obtained from plants and animals so these are obtained from plants and animals such type of acids are called organic acids example for organic acids are for acids they are sore 
index as it's a sore index and also they converts blue litmus paper to red so all these are some characteristics and depending upon this so here the inorganic acids are again classified into two types or they can be classified as strong acids and weak acids see here inorganic acids are again classified into two types they are strong acids and weak acids so what are strong acids and what are weak acids strong acids are nothing but which dissolves completely in water such type of acids are strong acids and which does not dissociates or which does not dissolve completely in water such type of acids are called weak acids so here the, these are the acids which are present in asphalt which are which dissolves completely in water here hcl h2so4 hno3 all these are strong acids whereas coming to weak acids hf and h ch3coh h3po3 h3po4 all these are weak acids hydrochloric acid sulfuric acid and nitric acid hydrofluoric acid and acetic acid these are boric acid and phosphoric acid Gracias.